EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Seattle Seahawks. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered, they have. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They guess. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That good for 19 at a first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette, and he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Come on, solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. At their own 34-yard line. 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha, that was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a trunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. And an alley to run. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. This time, Wilson will throw. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Here's Wilson being chased out left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. From the 36, Minshew. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Fournette, a first down carry. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. One quarter down, eight nothing to score. Down, 60 Pittsburgh. Hey, Charlie. Now Leonard Fournette. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and 10. And again this time to the tailback. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Minshew throwing on third down. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. From 21 yards away. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Now Doug Marone not even hesitating. They're going to go for two. They will run it. It's Fournette. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. What? 
coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Wilson. It's caught. Lockett. Tyler Lockett. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 54 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. And nothing too crazy there, a quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone, and the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Unable to stop KJ right there as he slips by for the sack. So third and long, here's Minshew. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. To throw again on second down. Minshew. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. And when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. D.D. Westbrook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. And that's why you have your hands team go. out there Here on the go. field. Those are the best guys ready go. to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in onside kick situations. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Now Wilson on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. From the 21, it's second and 10. Wilson now to throw again. The quick slant caught, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf as the first half is winding down. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play call. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. On second and ten, it's Minshew. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll throw now on the final play. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Pass the 20, 10, touchdown, Jaguars. Leonard Fournette, 89 yards. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, it was first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. The Seahawks looks like they've recovered. They have. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. On first down, Wilson. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now it's Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And an alley to run. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Throwing again on second down. Wilson and an alley to run. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. 
stepping up. He's going to keep it. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. On second and seven, Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf. His second touchdown of the afternoon as they are able to cut into that lead. From the gun, it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this will get out of bounds at the two-yard line. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. It's a very short kick, taken right at the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Again, it's Fournette. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. This is Fournette. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Minshew, and a catch made here by Marquise Lee. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter at number four. Out of the pistol, it's Fournette. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They'll run it again with Fournette. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Jaguars. DJ Chark. 46 yards, and the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having...